In this video, we're going to go over how you can utilize the question type drag and drop onto image. This will allow you to put an image into your quiz and have the students drag and drop text on top of a specific image that you provided for them. So we're going to go to a quiz that we've already created and I'm going to go ahead and click on it there. And we're going to choose from the gear menu here in the upper right hand corner, edit quiz. We're going to be taken to the part of our quiz where we can see all the questions that we've created. And if we want to add a new question, I'm going to click Add a New Question. So from the menu here, I'm going to choose Drag and Drop onto Image and press Add. And there's a few steps to this that I'm going to show you. And in this example, we're only going to go over what it's like to add an image and then how to add text boxes on top of that image. So we're going to give the question name here. And then we're going to go down here into preview, and this is where we're going to put our picture. But actually, first in question text, we want to put whatever they're going to be asked to do. What is the question you're asking the students? So there's my question text. And here under preview, I'm going to add a background image. So I'm going to click choose a file, and I'm going to select that file from my computer. So I'm going to click choose file, and then I want to click on choose file again. And you can see I've selected my file here from my hard drive and I'm going to click upload this file. So now I've got my image here and this is the map that I'm looking to use. And once our image is put in here, we're going to go down to draggable items and we're going to start putting in the information that we want to be able to have the students drag onto the map. So I'm not going to give any specific answers here. I'm just going to make it very simple and make it answer one, answer two, just so you can get a general idea. But the important thing you want to do in this case here under draggable item one is we want to change the type from draggable image to draggable text. Since we're not adding an image, we don't have to worry about this section here. We just have to worry about the text. So anything we write in these text boxes will then show up as something the student can drag into the place on the map. So again, I'm going to just fill in these boxes with answers one through six. Okay, so I have put in all of my answer choices here. You'll notice for every single one that I've added, I've changed this from draggable image to draggable text. And that's very important because you want to be able to do the next step. So this part is important to make sure you've done right. So now that we have all of our text answers in here, the last step we're going to do is go down to drop zones. So the only thing you really need to worry about here is the draggable item option here. And what you're going to include is all of the items you want your students to be able to drag over. So if you want to do answer one, answer two, answer three, and answer four, this is basically you showing Moodle what are the correct answers. So let's say you threw two answers in there that were incorrect, which we did. We put answer five and answer six. You're not going to include those in here because there's no place for them in the final product. So right now we're only going to show Moodle where answers one through four goes. So Moodle will know when a student puts those answers in what is correct and what's not. And if a student does plug in answer five or answer six, Moodle will know to mark that answer wrong. So I'm going to go back up to my image here at the top. And you're going to see that in the top left corner, my text boxes have shown up. So now I'm going to just find the places on the map which correspond to the text answer. And when we're done, we're just going to scroll down and click save and return to course or just save changes. So now we have our quiz here and we can actually preview this question if we would like to by clicking on the little preview magnifying glass here. And you can see that it looks like this. So now here's the map question. Here's please locate the places on this map. And now I can then go ahead and drag and drop that text into where it belongs. So you'll notice if I put answer two, the green, the box becomes outlined in green. That's how the student knows they're properly putting that answer there and answer three. And then they also have the options of answers five and six. So if they do put those answers in, Moodle will know that that is the wrong answer because we only provided drop zones for answers one through four. So basically that's all there really is to creating one of these drag and drop image questions. This is a great way for you to include images in your quiz and it also allows the students to be a little bit more interactive in regard to the quizzes that they're taking.